Hi there, this is Ram with Better Tattooing. We got a little hack for you today. We're gonna to be talking about light sources and skin tones and how to modify your setup so that you can better tattoo varying tones of skin. All right. <laughs> All right, now that's over with a short video and it's pretty simple for anyone who has a basic setup out there. Um, but we've talked pretty extensively uh, so far about the basics of like skin pigmentation and light interaction and how melanin can affect that, uh, those colors that we're putting into the skin. But did you know that if you change your basic light source, you can actually influence the legibility of this, the actual like tattoo that you're seeing. Not only when you're doing it, but also when you go to take pictures of it afterwards. So we're gonna talk about light sources. And today I've got my $15 lamp from Amazon uh, that I use uh, every once in a while. I use it quite often. It's really cheap. <laughs> but the neat thing about it is that it has a bunch of different tones on it. So it has a tone selector because it's an LED light where we can have cool tones or warm tones or everything in between. And so the idea with using this is that depending on the type of skin and the melanin concentrations that are in it, as well as the undertones that we've talked about before, is that the skin is gonna show varying levels of detail because there's gonna be the specific wavelengths of variable light that are actually going to be able to pass through those melanized layers. So oftentimes when I'm working with people who have medium tone to darker tone skin, I'll take a light like this and I'll run and cycle through the actual values of light that are available to see what, uh, what tones are gonna be working really well with them. And what I found often is that using those warmer tones on the scale tend to actually show more vividly what is actually being done with the tattoo. And so this comes in handy in, in a few different ways, where right? one is like doing it. Um, if you have more available light that's able to pass through those, those absorptive uh, constructs inside the skin of the melanin that's able to get down to the tattoo that you're doing, you're going to be able to better see the tattoo as it's happening. And one thing many of us are, are guilty of when we start learning how to tattoo varying tones of skin is that we use just whatever light is available. And if we're not seeing that instant, you know, feedback of like, I run a line and it looks super crispy that you'll tend to go over it a bunch. And if you're working with skin that is very, very, very efficient at absorbing a specific wavelength of light, it's not going to have the same type of reaction because there's not enough energy to get down to see the things that you're doing and come back through it so that you can pick it up, right? So you have a tendency to keep going until it shows up. When you change the value or temperature of your light, you can get different reactions to it. It's really simple. And I mean, this thing is, is really cheap. I don't have an affiliate program, so. I'm not going to do whatever, but you can just go on, you know, any type of shopping thing and head to Walmart, whatever, and pick up the varying light source stuff. Because if you, if you change your light source when you're actually doing the tattoo, it, it can make it a lot easier to see what you're doing, right? Um, and then the other one is just going to be afterwards. And we're going to do it with pictures. If you have a greater amount of light being able to enter energy, right? Enter the skin, interact with the pigment that you put in there and come back out. It's going to make the tattoo feel more vibrant than it is. And we're going to be doing a video just after this one talking about light sources when we take pictures. But with varying skin tones, you want to have different temperatures with the actual tattoo when you're trying to take that, that, that image, right? Because it's going to make it appear better. It's just gonna be clearer. It's gonna have a greater amount of contrast. There's gonna be more energy going in and interacting with the pigments that are there that are just gonna make it appear like it does to your eyes when you're doing it. So that's that. If you're wanting to try and uh, work with varying skin tones, please go out and grab one of these lights. It's a huge help. Um, and it can really improve not only the outcome of the tattoos that you're doing because people usually aren't gonna have as much trauma if you're able to see what you're doing. You know, it's like tattooing with one eye closed in a dark room. It's not smart, right? Uh, and at the same time, I mean, every bit of proof afterwards of what the skin tone actually is, it, you don't have to modify it, right? You don't have to sit there and try to lighten someone's skin tone, which happens a lot online, uh, to try and you know whitewash the entire tattoo industry so that it looks the way that you feel it should, like to your eyes, which is, weird. Anyways, I'm not going to critique anything on that. This is it. Simple video. 
We hope it helps. We'll talk to you next time. This is Ryan from Better Tattooing, signing off.